Well, here at Trinity, before the sermon, we have what's called a worldview segment. And the reason we have a worldview segment is because we believe here at Trinity we're a spiritual intersection where moral, cultural, social, political, and economic issues collide with biblical truth. We base this on a verse of scripture out of the Old Testament, 1 Chronicles 12, 32, where it says the sons of Issachar had wisdom regarding the times in which they lived and they knew what they should do. We need to have wisdom. We need to be able to discern the times in which we live. Why is that so important? Because two things, Christians should be informed so they can know how to pray so that number two, you can be empowered to act, to actually do something. And this worldview segment this weekend, uh, we have a special guest with us, Mark Lee Dixon. He's a part of the right to life here in the state of Texas, and he's fighting on behalf of the unborn all across our nation. Let's welcome Mark Lee as he comes to bring us some updates. Good to be here in Lubbock again. Guys, across America, there are 67 cities and five counties that have passed ordinances doing everything they can to keep abortion out of their communities. That's across seven different states, including New Mexico and Illinois. And so we're seeing a lot of victories, but the fight is far from over, even here in Texas. And what we're seeing is this problem of abortion trafficking across the border into New Mexico. And there's a governor over there, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, that wants abortion in her state in every single zip code, just like the Biden administration does. But there are some people over there, like Senator David Gygos, who are standing up saying, we don't want death and destruction for New Mexico. Amen. And you know, it's really scary to think that Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham in New Mexico has this abortion helpline. And if you call that abortion helpline, one of the places it sends you for abortion is the Satanic Temple. And I kid you not, that is exactly one of the places that it sends you to. This is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with death and destruction or life and peace and hope. And us. we are a people that are a people of life. And so tomorrow morning, there's a very special gathering at the Lubbock County Commission. They're actually considering an ordinance similar to what Cochran County just recently considered and passed. And that ordinance would prohibit abortion trafficking in the unincorporated area of Lubbock County. Now, there's a uh, picture here of, of a QR code. And on that QR code, you'll find all of the documents related to that ordinance. You'll find the ordinance itself, you'll find the key points, you'll find a letter from senators and representatives in New Mexico encouraging cities and counties to do everything they can here in Texas. You'll also see a letter from 20 representatives and senators from here in Texas supporting uh, Lubbock County in this effort. So, so Lubbock is a sanctuary city, but now we're, we have the, possi the, the probability, the possibility of making our county a sanctuary county. Absolutely. And the beauty of that is this is something that we're, we're covering every single square inch that we can to make sure that as many protections are in play. Amen. And, you know, a lot of people are going to be watching this decision tomorrow. And I do believe that the commissioners are going to stand and do what's right. But we know that Planned Parenthood is mobilizing. And we know that they're planning on coming out there in droves tomorrow. They're going to be wearing pink. Uh, Planned Parenthood is. Uh, I'm encouraging people to wear blue so it's going to look like a baby shower. And Amen. we're going to stand for life. And we're going to be praying for those commissioners to have courage and boldness and to stand up and do what's right because this really is a voice for life. And you know who is paying attention to the vote tomorrow? Amarillo. The city of Amarillo is considering, they're starting their discussions on Tuesday. And guys, I don't know if you've been following what's happening in Amarillo, but there's a, a court case, Alliance for, uh, Alliance for Hippocratic Medicine versus the FDA. And that is a case that's dealing with the abortion-inducing drugs that could affect every single state in America. The Supreme Court of the United States is most likely going to be taking up that case. Well, Amarillo has a role to play in that. And we are really wanting to see Amarillo pass an ordinance just like uh, San Angelo and Abilene and Lubbock and so many other cities have, uh, because it's going to play a key role in that uh, fight before the Supreme Court of the United States. And last thing I'll say, guys, is that as I've been traveling all over the United States, 
people have asked, how can we find victory in our cities on this issue? Danville, Illinois. You know, Illinois is not a conservative uh, state, but it has Governor Pritzker who's pushing abortion. But the, there's a group of pastors in Danville, Illinois that asked me what they could do. And I said, you know, look at the churches of Lubbock, specifically Trinity Church. They stood for life and they were able to defeat death in their city. And so you know what Danville did? Danville took the example of the churches in Lubbock and they hated evil, loved good, and established justice within their city limits. And Danville, Illinois became a sanctuary for the unborn. Praise God. And it kept, it kept an abortion facility from Indiana crossing over and opening up shop in their city. So guys, keep up the work, keep standing for life. If you're free tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow morning, uh, fifth floor of Lubbock County Courthouse meets at 10. We really need to get there probably yes. about nine, but come out and uh, be up. a voice for life. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much. And Lubbock, you were the first, the largest city in America that became a sanctuary city and like a domino effect is taking place. Uh, this is a strategic place, a strategic city. There's the sacred corridor from Amarillo all the way to San Angelo. Uh, and what's happening here will set the course, not just for Texas, but for our nation and perhaps even the world. So uh, informed to pray, empowered to act.